differential diagnosis of anemia. Anemia is decreased hemoglobin. If hemoglobin is low, measure mean corpuscular volume. If mean corpuscular volume is less than 80 femtoliter, that is microcytic, decreased ferritin, and increased total iron binding capacity when microcytic anemia leads to iron deficiency anemia. If microcytic anemia and ferritin is increased or normal and total iron binding capacity is decreased or normal, request inflammatory markers CRP, ESR. If they are increased, anemia of chronic disease. If microcytic anemia, ferritin increased or normal, total iron binding capacity decreased or normal, request HP electrophoresis. If it is abnormal, then beta thalassemia, HBH disease, or HB power disease, according to the results of HB electrophoresis. If there is microcytic anemia and ferritin is increased or normal, and total iron binding capacity is decreased or normal, and there is basophilic stiffening and or ring cytoplasm on peripheral film. It may be cytoplastic anemia or lead poisoning. And these are the differentials of microcytic anemia. Now we move towards normocytic anemia. If mean corpuscular volume is between 80 to 100 femtoliter, it is normocytic anemia. If in case of normocytic anemia, there are low number of reticulocytes along with decreased erythropoietin. It is chronic kidney disease. If in case of normocytic anemia with decreased number of reticulocytes and increased or normal erythropoietin and pancytopenia, it is aplastic anemia. If there is normocytic anemia and reticulocytes are normal or increased, and there are signs of hemolysis that is decreased heptoglobin, increased lactate dehydrogenase, increased indirect bilirubin. Indirect bilirubin is high because there is hemolysis of RBCs and RBCs release bilirubin, which cannot be conjugated by liver due to overload. That is why indirect bilirubin is high. Due to hemolysis of RBCs, lactate dehydrogenase enzyme is released from them. That is why LDH is high. Heptoglobin binds free hemoglobin. When there is hemolysis of RBCs, there is plenty of free hemoglobin. So heptoglobin binds free hemoglobin and there will be low levels of circulating heptoglobin. If there are signs of hemolysis with normal or increased reticulocytes in normocytic anemia. It is hemolytic anemia. If there are no signs of hemolysis and there is normocytic anemia with increased reticulocytes or normal reticulocytes, then there will be blood loss. Now we move towards macrocytic anemia. If mean corpuscular volume is greater than 80 femtoliter, it is macrocytic anemia. If along with macrocytic anemia, there are megaloblastic changes on blood smear, then it leads towards diagnosis of folic acid and or vitamin B12 deficiency. If there is a non-megaloblastic macrocytic anemia, then there are few differentials here. Radiculocytosis, liver disease, alcohol use, myelodysplastic syndrome, hypothyroidism, multiple myeloma. You will obviously see signs and symptoms of these diseases. To narrow differential for non-megaloblastic macrocytic anemia. Anemia of chronic disease and iron deficiency anemia may also manifest as normocytic anemia. 
Hemolytic anemias may also manifest as microcytic anemia with normal iron studies. Thank you.